I rip a bow hole. Drake told me YOLO. Eyes on that Lolo, I'm local for Bacalo. What's good, everybody? Welcome to the latest installment of The High Chronicles with your host, Micah B. Check out my new Rock the Boat track that I just released. You can go check that out. I'll leave a link um, in the description box, and I'll also leave like an annotation for you to go click on to check that out, then come back and watch this shit and smoke with me. So before I get into question number one, I will set this shit off with a hit. I've got a dab prepared, and I've also got a um, you know, hit for some bud. So let's do this. If you guys haven't already got my mixtape, Legacy, please do go download that shit, man. I'll leave a link for that. You can also just go on datpiff.com and search Micah B Legacy, um, and that should take you right to it. You don't have to make an account because the mixtape sponsored. Bam. That shit is lovely. Today we're smoking on some Kush. I've got the Kush with the Q. This is one of my favorite strains. Um, <coughs> got a little bit of it here. We're also smoking some really, really bomb, you know, BHO. This was made at a Seattle dispensary. I don't remember what the dispensary was. Do you remember? Don't remember what the dispensary was, but the shit is fire, man. Um, looks really good. I'll give you some close-up shots of that. I've got a dab prepared for myself, so let's heat this bad boy up. Smoke it. And please ask questions, man. Um, type in the comments your questions, and I'll try to answer them in my next videos. And I'll get to those. But try to be as creative as you can, you know? I try to pick the best questions to go over to make the most interesting episode I possibly can. So, uh, you know, I'm basically feeding off of you guys. Um. That shit was the bomb. It's like three different strains. I don't remember which strains they are. <coughs> I'm fucking high as fuck, dude. But um, I've been smoking before I filmed this part. So on to the very first question. What are some of your musical inspirations? Well, instead of naming every single um, artist that has inspired me, I'd rather put together an unnecessarily comprehensive list. And you know, you can pause the video and check out that list if you give a fuck. Question number two. What do you like to do when you're super baked? Basically, everything I like to do when I'm not super baked. Like, it just enhances regular life. Say, if I was watching a movie, um, sober. If, if it's a good movie, it's still a good movie. But if I'm watching a good movie hot, the good movie's like awesome and now starting to be legendary and epic. So that's the difference. Before I do question number three, I'm gonna take a hit, man. We gotta take another hit, man. We got smoke out here. The sweet smells so good, man. This is definitely one of my one of my favorite strains. That was a dope hit. On to question number three, and then after question number three, I'm gonna take a dab. Um, how do you feel about girls who smoke weed? Do you find it unattractive or dope? Um, I mean, I think, say, take my girlfriend. I think she's sexy, um, but do I think she's sexier because she smokes weed? No, because like, I feel like, to me, weed's just like eating food. So like, is it sexy to eat food? 
I don't really think so, you know what I'm saying? So, and to have a, like, like how High Times has a Miss High Times, I don't know, man, that's pretty degrading, bro. Uh, I think that it should not be strange for females to smoke weed, you know? Oh, damn, you're a pretty girl who can smoke weed. You take, you know, you can inhale smoke and then you can exhale smoke. Big fucking whoop. Like, I don't really give a fuck, you know? Like, that's not too fucking impressive. You don't have to have a large repertoire of skills to be able to accomplish that. Speaking of girls and weed, um, there was this Seattle High Times cannabis uh, cup event where this girl was like basically taking the dome off this while the hit was still going. Check out this footage. Yeah, look at that. She just takes the dome right off. Like she doesn't give a fuck. With, like what are you doing? She does it twice. Twice? Come on. All right, man, time for another dab. Let's do that. These are fucking powerful, man. Oh, I just dropped my fucking dad, you motherfucker. I think I'm good. It's chill, it's chill. It's whatever, man. I was good, I was good. I was tripping for no reason. On to question number four. I was wondering if you or any of your friends have ever greened out in public or somewhere funny, and what was it off of? Um, my cousin stripped out at my dad's house, and he was super baked. Um, he was high off of a vaporizer, and he basically ended up calling the ambulance on himself to come, to come and get him because he was like experiencing a severe panic attacks and shit. And I was like, bro, just chill out, calm down, man. You're gonna be okay. He's like, nah, bro. And he like starts like walking in circles, like doing this shit. He's like, it's like, I'm not in reality. It's like, I can't control my body. It's like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. He thought he was gonna be like violent and dangerous. He was like, knock me out. You guys gotta knock me out. Like, what the fuck? You gotta knock, he's, he's hilarious, man. I won't use any names. Um, but that's my cousin, man. Yeah, I love that dude. And I've actually done that before. I've had like two little uh, panic attacks. I kicked my friends out the house like on my early days of smoking. I was like, dude, you guys gotta leave. I don't know if I'm gonna kill you. Uh, please leave. <laughs> we gotta take a hit. We gotta take a hit. We gotta take a hit, 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 hit. We gotta take a, we gotta take a, we gotta take a hit. Like I said, man, leave a comment. Um, you know, tell me what you guys are smoking, ask a question, you know, whatever, man. so good to be legally doing this man <laughs> like to not be paranoid I don't know man it'd be really weird if what I was doing was illegal I'd still do it but I probably wouldn't be filming that shit and then showing you guys what I'm doing because I'm not that type of dude <laughs> you'll never see a Mike and B fight video with me filming the fight unless <laughs> I agree to mutual combat because it's legal in Washington to challenge somebody to a stand-up fight and the fight's over when they hit the ground. That's pretty fucking dope. Shout out to Phoenix Jones, the fucking superhero from Seattle. He was on World Star. Awesome, right? He fucking leg kicked the dude. He was like, oh fuck, I know I'm gonna lose this fight. Got knocked out. Question number five. Mike B, huge fan. Thanks, bro. Um, what is the dankest bud you have ever smoked? This is up there with some of the dankest bud I've ever smoked. But if it's not this, it might have been some kind of Kush or Diesel or, um, I don't know, man. I've had a lot of really dank buds, so I can't really, and I would never want to be limited to one weed. It's, it's 
a crazy amount of options out there and the growers are getting better and better and better and better at it. So the people who grew this bud, uh, the Kush with the Q, have a uh, other strain, lamb's bread, that they want a cannabis cup uh, for, which is also amazing. I love that shit, but I actually like this more than that. They didn't even enter this. Last and final question. Question number six. One person you could smoke with and why? Albert Einstein, man. I would just love to pick his brain. I'd love to learn as much as I could. Um, it'd just be really chill to smoke with him. I mean, I don't even know if he smoked, but you know, if he was down, that'd be really dope to smoke with him. Um, or R. Kelly, because he's crazy. He's a, he's a crazy performer. I'd pick his brain, you know. <laughs> R. Kelly. <laughs> All right, folks. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, please like the video. Check out my mixtape, man. If you've never heard my music before, um, you know, that'd be a, you, now's a good time to start listening to my music, man. All right, so I've got a um, bowl and a dab, and I'm out. Hey, check this wax out, too. And the bud. Kimberly's gonna have some catching up to do. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this installment of The High Chronicles with your host, Micah B. Peace out.